Hey guys, it's Tech Randy. In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to uninstall power supply and reinstall a new one. That is right. You might actually got yourself a new power supply because maybe you're upgrading, or maybe you're doing your first ever PC build and you want to know how to add a power supply to your system. That, or maybe you have a bad power supply and you need to know how to uninstall it and restore a new one. Well, this is the video for you because today I'm actually uninstalling a power supply from my brother's PC build that's a 700 watt because he's getting a 3090. So he needs a better power supply, which is the 1000 watt power supply. You know, I'm excited to install this and I'm going to show you guys the full process from uninstalling a power supply to reinstalling a new one. And that way you can take away from this to learn for yourself. So let's get right into it. Now, before you do anything, make sure you actually have the back of the case where the power supply is off. So you can tell by it was at the circle, not the one, because the one means it's on. And make sure the power cable is unplugged for the power supply and any other cables that connect to the PC. Now, if you don't want to worry about static discharge or anything like that, just touch the bottom of your PC case because it's grounded. And then if you touch this occasionally, you'll be grounded for the time being. So you shouldn't have any shock problems with it and you won't affect any of your components during this process. So the first thing you want to do is remove your side panel or your glass tempered panel from your case. Once you have your side panel removed, the first thing you want to unplug is actually your PCIe cable for your GPU. And of course, you just want to pinch the top of the lip and just pull it on out. Now, if you have more than one of these, of course, you just repeat the process. Next, you want to remove your CPU cable that is uh, clipped to your motherboard. And of course, you want to just pinch it like the same process you did for your GPU. And it might be a little bit more tricky depending on your motherboard design. But of course, once you get it on out, it'll be simple and done. Next, you want to remove the 24 pin from your motherboard. This is honestly the hardest cable to remove. So all you want to do is you get a good pitch on it, wiggle it side to side until it comes out. And then you should be able to just give a good tuck and then it just comes right out. If you have any hard drives or SSDs, just make sure they unplug the power cable from the PSU, which is the bigger one compared to the SATA cable. Once you unplug those cables, what you want to do next is take off your side panel, unroute the cables that are going to the front side of your case to power the front, like the motherboard, CPU, and GPU, and just get them all organized. And if you have any cable ties in place, just take a pair of scissors and cut it just to get rid of it. Now we're halfway done. What you want to do is take a Phillips screwdriver and unscrew the four screws that are keeping the uh, PSU in place, and that way you can actually um, remove it from your case. Make sure to keep the screws on hand because you're going to need those four screws to install a new power supply. Once those four screws are removed, all you want to do is pull out the cables from the bottom side of it and slip on the power supply with it. And that way you have the old power supply removed. And that way you can reinstall a new one. Before we install our new power supply, I want you guys to know the difference between power supplies. So there's semi-modular when it means actually some of the cables are still plugged in the power supply permanently, while the others are not actually completely plugged in. So that way you can plug in your own. Then you have fully modular power supply, which is the power supply we have here, which means all the cables come separately in a bag, you see. And of course, I had to plug in each and every one of them in their respective areas. So that way I actually can use it to actually plug in my case, which are the nice part about fully modular is that you just plug in the necessary cables and then we remove the sums of the side. Like I plugged in every cable, three PCIe, because for the GPU and the new 3090, we got one CPU for the CPU, unless we're overclocking them when you do two CPU cables. And then we also got ourselves uh, some SATA cable for power if we need the power like hard drives, SATA drives or anything like that. But everything on this PC is M.2. Also, just a quick thing here, make sure that your power supply matches actually a case form factor because sometimes you might get a too small of a power supply, so it might not fit and that way you can't screen the plugs properly. So that's kind of one of those things you can use PC part picker to check your power supply with the case you got. I assume you're already doing this in the first place. Another thing to keep in mind is that to make sure your power supply actual fan is pointed downwards, not upwards, because it actually downwards is where the air is going to flow throughout so it can circulate to help your power supply because if you have it actually fisted up. It's going to choke the air supply in your PC, which can cause negative pressure. So so just one of those things, make sure you have your fan pointed down. Now that you got your new power supply in there, all you have to do now is actually just screw in the screws that we took out earlier for a new power supply. Now that our power supply is plugged in, all you want to do is start running your GPU cable, which is the PCIe cable, depending on how many you have. You might need one, two, or three, depending on the headers. You can usually tell though. For me, I only need one, so I'm going to run run to my GPU. And then the next thing you want to do is then find your CPU cable. It'll be labeled on the side of CPU. You want to run to the top right of your case because that's where the header is. And you want to just plug that on in. Now you want to take your 24 pin, run it through the case for the same way you did with your GPU or might be a different location, which way you want to run it and plug it into your motherboard for the 24 pin. Now, if you do have a hard drive or SSD, all you have to do to set those on up is actually plug in the SATA cable, which that goes to your motherboard. And then of course, after that, you make sure to have the power cable plugged into it as well. So that way it delivers power to the hard drive or SSD. I do have a whole separate video on how to do that, which this is kind of a quick process if you want to know how to. Once you get those cables plugged in, just leave the side panels off for the time being and just take it to somewhere where you have a monitor, plug it in, flip the switch, click the power button on your PC and see if it even boots first. And if it does, congrats, you have successfully installed a new power supply in your system. And if you do have any problems, then make sure just to double check if everything's plugged in correctly. 
Once your PC is working perfectly fine, just make sure to put on your side panels and that way you're all good to go to the game on your new PC with its new power supply. If you guys did find this video helpful though, make sure to smash the like button. And if you want to do me a favor, get subscribed because we're trying to hit 2000 subscribers before the end of the year. We're like less than 300 away. So if you do me that favor, that'd be very much appreciated. But we'll see you guys for that tech video. Tech Grand out.